Okay, I'm back uh, with this little extra follow-up video. Uh, like I was saying, I'm planning on putting me another cage here and maybe another one below it. And I have all this caged in with uh, chicken wire to keep any animals out. Uh, I need to do some more work along the bottom and put some more, uh, some stronger uh, wire up around the edge, around the, the uh, outline area, all the way around. Just to keep extra little small critters out. Nothing big can really get in here, but um, but anyway. But yeah, like I say, my my plan, hopefully in the real near future, hopefully this weekend, is to have. Uh, I've got well, I hope to have another cage here installed, and I'm gonna try to make me a better uh, shield for the top to keep the. Uh, the uh, rabbit, drop, rab, rabbit droppings from the top off the ones on the bottom they pretty much go in the same spots after they've you know set aside an area for that and uh, so I've been just kind of putting something under that particular spot where they normally go and uh, then just emptying them that, those out every, every so often well by getting trays but you know for right now I'm looking to eventually get some stackable hutches that are three three tall and uh, to go on the inside of the building when I get the, the roof finished. But uh, for right now, this is serving a purpose, and uh, you know they're they're staying good and clean. I've not had any any to die or any kind of sickness or anything like that. So I must be doing something halfway decent. But um, but anyway, so next time I next time I send a video out, uh, one of those will most likely be gone into the pan or stew pot or something and hopefully all these small ones over here will be gone as pets and these uh these up here gone as pets or into the stew pot except for alice of course and also by that time she should have a new litter and betty over here should have a new litter and this one, I like I say, I've not named her yet, but I'm going to stick her in the cage that I put in right here. And uh, that way she'll be away from Betty and she can mature to where I can breed her in another month or two, a couple months. And uh, then that cage there will be freed up for some, you know, new grow out ones. And I'm probably going to get rid of these other mini rexes that I have. Uh, the male mini rex, I let him run around just loose. He uh, he's real tame and stuff, so he comes to me. But this female here, she uh, she should be ready to kindle here in about another couple of weeks. And uh, I'm kind of well. She's I'm pretty she's pregnant because she's starting to swell up pretty big. But uh, I was kind of hoping maybe it wouldn't have, wouldn't have taken. So I can get rid of her, but uh, I may just wait until I have the babies and let them get up and sell them as pets and uh, go from there. And this one up here, it's kind of iffy whether or not she took, but I've got her out here in just a real makeshift uh, pen for the moment, and uh, I'm gonna probably be getting rid of her for sure. Uh, I may take her actually this weekend too and try to sell her at the uh, small animal swap and uh, with the uh, with the information that she could have a litter here in the next couple weeks and uh, she's she's probably pregnant but if so it may be a smaller litter compared to the other one down here but uh, I'm, I'm more I just don't have enough room, so I'm, I'm looking to uh, get rid of the pet ones and uh, just raise the Californian or uh, New Zealand ones that I may be getting in the near future because I've got a buyer that wants pretty much as many as I can produce. And uh, if I get everything fixed the way I want it here in the next month or two, I should have about uh, 30 holes and uh would have room for for 30 working does and uh, i'd also have three bucks to keep them serviced 
and uh, the local area here in East Tennessee, they're they're uh, they're paying really good for uh, for meat rabbits right now, and the demand's high, and, but there's not very many producers, so I'm trying to take advantage of that. And uh, but in here, I'm hoping to put uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks of three is what. I've kind of got it laid out for, and uh, that if I can start having some working does, that could turn into, you know, some extra cash, especially right now with uh, the demand being so high. But anyway, so uh, I guess I'll leave you by checking out this last solitary chicken that I have left, and uh, I'm thinking about giving her to my mom and dad because they're talking about getting some more chickens and uh, she's finally filled back out with her feathers and she looks good but I don't she's not laying yet that I've noticed or if she has she's been breaking them or eating them or something but but anyway and uh, since I see it now I'm gonna show you our goats our pygmy goats as I close up here but uh, you can see our pygmy goats over there, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over there at the moment, and I think there's one or two more around here somewhere running around solo. But anyway, um, hope y'all enjoyed these videos, and uh, hopefully have more to follow. And uh, God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye.